In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top five tips for you to improve your defense overnight in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and if it's your first time checking out one of my YouTube videos, my YouTube channel is devoted to helping you take your game to the next level, helping you win more games, win more money in Madden 21. If that's something that you want to do, what I want to encourage you to do is to join our community over at Discord. That's the best way that you're not only going to be able to stay up to date with everything that we've got going on on the YouTube channel, which you can do that by just clicking subscribe, but you're also going to be able to be surrounded with a community of people that are going to help you get better. Right, because you're the average of the five people that you associate with most. All right, so top five tips for defense. This is the first thing that I want, or and, and let's just jump right into it. So, first things first is when you're on defense this year, one of the things I want you to know is I want you to make sure that you're using your coaching adjustments, and specifically, I want you to, to make sure that you're using your zone drops. Right, you can do the zone drops at 20 yards, 15 yards, and these are going to basically tell. Hard flats, cloud flats, soft squat zones, what to do. These right here are gonna tell curl flats. Um, if you do it quarter flats, seam flats, all purple zones are gonna be told what to do. And then hook zones, these are all hook zones they're gonna be told what to do. So you can set your zone depth. It's really, really cool because you can stop pretty much anything in the game as long as you use the right zone depth on, on your zone drops. Makes zone coverage actually really, really cool this year. Okay, the second thing that I'm gonna tell you uh, as far as getting better in Madden NFL 21 is to use the, either the middle linebacker or the safety. So Dime 146 to me is one of the best defenses in the game again and Cover 1 Robber is also one of the best defenses. We're going to talk about that in just a minute but what I want to encourage you to do, right, it just, it's very, very simple. A lot of you guys have enjoyed playing on the line and stuff like that and you know this year it's actually kind of fun to play on the line. There's some things you can do to actually make it very effective but overall, guys, the best bang for your buck is always going to be to either user a linebacker or user a safety. Now, usering a safety is going to get you better animations. Usering a linebacker is going to be a little bit more safe because your safety is going to be back. Now, user control is a little bit different than it's ever been. And I want to talk about that really quickly. So when you think of user control, one of the things that I like to do is I like to hold left trigger at the snap of the ball. The reason is because it's going to basically strafe my defender. He's going to, his shoulders are going to be square to the quarterback. Now on something like mesh, I like to peel and then back off, peel and then back off. That simple baiting technique is going to help you a lot because no matter what you face, literally no matter what you face, your strategy at the snap of the ball, I'm going to hold left trigger, slide here, and then go here. And then I can see how I can turn my hips when I hit left trigger like that. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about here. But literally what I can do on the, on, on the offensive side of the ball is I can literally, when I want to change direction, it's really hard to just turn on a dime this year. And so what you want to do is when you go, when you go to want to change direction, you just want to hit left trigger, it's going to square you up, and then you'll change direction a little bit faster. It's my favorite. Honestly, I've been doing this for years. This year, it's really, 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 really important. Okay. So first tip is zone drops. Second tip is to use a linebacker. Third tip is to strafe that linebacker to change direction. So again, here and then strafe in here and then strafe in here. Right. That's that's very very important. The fourth tip that I have for you, as far as defense goes, is to make every single defense you run look the same. Right. It doesn't matter what defense you run. Just make it look the same. Make it look the same show. You want to be able to essentially be able to send pressure, play max coverage, all and stop the run all from the same look. Now, that's very difficult to do, but one of the things that you can do with 9146 is you can pinch both of these safeties in, you can press coverage, then you can slide these corners in off the edge, and this literally can be your run defense, your pass defense, your pressure defense, your max coverage defense, everything that you want, and every single play I'm going to make it look the same. For example, if I have a little cover too, you're going to see the corners move. Well, if I hit man line and I press them, you see they're going to look exactly like they did if they were in man-to-man -man coverage. Then again, I'm going to maneuver everybody to make them look exactly the same. Same thing with cover three. See how they back off like that? I'm going to man align and I'm going to press coverage. By making the defense look the same, you're going to your opponent is going to have to really guess what the coverage is outside of it. So it's a universal rule every year. Make your defense look the same and you're going to be getting stops galore. The, um, the next tip that I have for you really quickly, um, and this is one of the most important things that you can do when clicking on. So 
if let me just show you really quickly so if i throw a streak to um if he just throws a streak here and i just hold aggressive you see how it's not going to he's not going to catch the ball your corner's not going to catch the ball some of you guys do this literally as soon as the ball is thrown right you just hold triangle that's all you do you just hold triangle what you want to do is you want to click onto your corner you want to get the inside position with your corner and then you want to click triangle or hold triangle at the last possible second to get you the best animation all right this is something that is really really important this year because user catching is back user catching is so effective no matter where on the field you're at if you don't do this you're going to get thrown off so again now same thing i'm going to lob it and then i'm just going to click onto him and i'm going to swerve him to the inside and you see i'm going to be able to get in a little bit better of a position let me show this to you one more time. So again, snap of the ball. I'm just lobbing it up. Now I'm going to click onto it. And then as soon as as soon as I go to jump, if I have the position to do it, if I'm if I have a little bit of um, position to turn him, him around, I'll literally hold left trigger and triangle at the same time to basically turn his shoulders so that he can make a play on the ball. This is absolutely critical. We have for years in Madden, for years. Um, since ball hawk was introduced to the game literally what we do is we just run around holding triangle that is not going to work this year it really didn't work that great last year but it's really not going to work this year so again you want to wait to the last pocket possible second you want to use that left joystick to be able to get him into good position and then you want to click triangle and once you click it you can hold it because it's not going to matter because you have ball hawk on so it's not going to be a big issue but this is a significant significant thing and when you're clicking on, you want to give him a gather step. What I mean by a gather step is you want to give yourself an opportunity for the, the computer to basically reset itself to let everybody know where you're at on the field. Because if you're running around with your, like if I'm running around right here and then, it, and, I'm, and then I click on here, then I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm going to click on, once I've gathered myself, then I'm going to move him it's a little bit more of a subtle thing. It's hard to explain in a tip video, but hopefully you see the idea of what I'm saying. This is gonna help you get yourself in a better position for uh, interceptions and things like that. As you see right now, when I'm swerving him to the inside and I'm using that left joystick, it's making a huge difference, even, when I'm, even if I don't hit left trigger, okay? So that is um, our fourth tip for how to improve your defense overnight. Now the last tip and the best possible tip that I can give you this year for how to improve your defense overnight is to run man-to-man -man coverage. Man-to-man -man coverage this year is probably as good as it has ever been in a game of Madden. Any man coverage works really, really well. We do have some tips for you on our YouTube channel for how to beat man coverage. But as a general rule, man coverage is locking, locking, locking people down. It's very, very difficult to beat man coverage this year. And so what I personally would recommend is go to either the nickel 335 or the dime 146 or dime 236. And I would, first things first, right, go back to the first tip. I would drop my zones off to 20 yards, just like this, but all of my underneath zones in 20 yard assignments. Then I would come out and dime 146. I would call the play, cover one robber. You can get away with doing it from two men under as well. Two men under is really good, but cover one's good too. Cover one robber, that's what you're gonna call. And then all you're going to do is you're going to man align, you're going to press coverage, you're going to shade coverage over top. This is gonna make sure that you don't get beat over the top. You're then going to shade coverage to the inside that's actually really really critical and then you're going to take these guys on the outside and put them in curl flats this defense right here is one of the most difficult defenses to beat right now in madden nfl 21. just running this and you're going to use her the linebacker over the middle field and literally i'm just going to use her wherever wherever i go and then you see here i can click on and i can make picks you master the click on pick you master your user ability in this game this is going to make a massive difference. So to recap, the first thing that I would say is really important to improving your defense overnight in Madden NFL 21 is to use your zone drop adjustments. Okay. The second defense or the second thing that I would say is really, really important to improving your defense overnight 
in Madden NFL 21 is to use either the linebacker or the safety. I personally would suggest that you use the linebacker to start, and then once you feel comfortable, graduate to the safety position. The third tip that I have for you is whenever you are running with your user to use left trigger to basically swivel your hips so that you can move in and out of animations faster. Right When I want to turn to the right, I'm going to hit left trigger and it's just going to help me turn just a little bit faster, help me turn my hips, keep my hips, my shoulders square to the quarterback. That is a really, really critical tip in my opinion. The fourth thing is to make sure that when you're clicking on with your, when you're clicking on to your corner to get a pick, don't hold ball hawk until the last possible second. You want to swerve him into a really, really good position and then you want to make the play. And then the last tip that I have for you today on how to be a beast on defense is to call the play any man coverage. But personally, I would recommend dime 146, cover one robber, or dime 146, two man under, or dollar 326, or dime 236. It doesn't matter, right? Nickel or dime, one of those two packages. I think dime is a little bit more effective for beginner players and you're calling man-to-man -man coverage, and then you're doing exactly what I said with the zone adjustments, and you're putting these guys in purples, you shade over top, you play inside coverage, and at the step of the ball, you're going to see this is going to literally block the box pretty much everything in the game. And then one little bonus tip for you guys at the end. If you get a pick on defense, a lot of times what you'll do, what you're guilty of doing is what I'm guilty of doing, right? So I'll just throw this up here to Gilmore. Click on. Now I'm gonna start running him back. If I hold up on the up on the left stick before while it is recentering the screen, it's going to make Gilmore run in a, in the wrong direction that we want him to run. So like I can't get a great example for you because he's getting catch tackled, but let's try it with these uh, corner routes here. So I'll show you right there. Eh. What I want to get at here is whenever that happens, whenever that situation comes up, you want to make sure that you let the play reset and then go. As soon as the camera swivels around and resets, that's when you begin your movement. So as soon as you get the pick, do not hold any joystick button. It's going to mess everything up. And then once it resets, then you're going to go. Okay, I can't show it to you here. It's a very subtle thing, but it makes a big difference. There's a lot of pick sixes to be had this year. It's really easy to get pick sixes, in my opinion, in this game. So hopefully that's going to help you. Again, guys, these are my top five tips for you to improve overnight on defense. But the best way that you can improve, in my opinion, in Madden 21 is to join my Discord. The link is in the description below. That's going to get you around a better community of people where you're going to be able to be poured into and you're going to be able to get better every single day because you're playing better competition. And then one last thing I do want to encourage you to do is if you haven't already picked up a defensive guide or if you're looking for a defensive guide that not only teaches you how to blitz and teaches you how to cover, but also teaches you how to scheme and why to call certain things at certain times and how to game plan for some of the best offenses in the game, be sure to pick up my Madden 21 competitive guide. It is in the description of this video. Right now it's on sale for just 25 bucks. That gives you my offense and my defense, right? The offense is, def is 15, defense is 15. You put them together. We're selling for $25 right now. That price will go up as soon as the game launches. So you guys that are watching this video are going to get a little bit of a pre-sale offer. Some videos are going to pop up right now that are going to continue that conversation of how do you get better in Madden NFL 21. I want you to click one of those that interests you. And I also want to invite you to my live stream. I stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. So you can go ahead and subscribe and we will see you guys tonight.